Welcome to this tutorial. In this first part, in this first tutorial, uh, we we're going to be talking a little bit about the project that we want to create and how we're going to accomplish that. I have here a demonstration to do. And if you're not very familiar with C Sharp or SQL Server at this point, I would ask you actually to go back to my blog and see the beginner part where you're going to actually be able to see that uh, some tutorials on C Sharp and SQL Server. Uh, if you're familiar a little bit, um, we're going to see a little detailed part in this in this tutorial where we're going to be using WPF, uh, C Sharp, SQL Server and how to use Link to SQL, which is a really nice feature. Um, let me open here my Visual Studio. So I can actually show you what we're going to be doing. Uh, if I open here my school system, it's the project I named uh, to do that. Actually, I've done that. So I'm just going to show this so you can actually know what we want to accomplish. And here it is. When I run the program, that's what I have. A main window in WPF. It's an extremely basic one. Much, much, much more can be done here. But as I said, it's just for showing us what we want to do. It will actually be up to you to change, to make it nicer, uh, or make it whatever way you want. And in fact, it's advised so we can actually learn more on the topic. Uh, whatever we can do to make it nice, we're going to be doing here. But we have limited time. So uh, let's see what the program does. And if I come to the menu, I have the options of add a student, add class. So if I come here and add a student, and let me let me put here uh, Bruce and let's put a let, let's name as Black Bruce Black. And I'm adding that student, saying that to me. If I come here to view, I'm gonna be able to see the last guy I added, Bruce Black, which is a male. Uh, that's his ID. And the ID is being created. Uh, using the out incremented thing in uh, SQL Server. Um, another thing that we do here, we I can also have I could add a class. I'm not gonna do that right now. It's the same principle. Students, I can edit students. For example, this one that I just added. If I wanna update that information, and I wanna put here now white update student now is like a change it so I could just edit the student whatever maybe I, I made a mistake or something so I can also delete that student so let's delete let's actually delete this one here Tony okay you delete it I could add a class to a student I could drop a class I could see the status of a class uh, in the view I'll be able to see all these students so if you go back here now I have Bruce but I don't have Tony anymore because I dropped it before uh, the same goes for classes. I can see all the classes that I have, um, and I can see what students are taking those classes. So, for example, let me see if I have anybody for 140. Okay, I have this guy for 140. So that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing. Um, hopefully, they'll be helpful somehow. Uh, and before we actually do that, we should do some designing. In this case, we're going to do some design in the database. That's where we're going to probably need the most at this point before we start doing that. And let me close then Visual Studio and open uh, SQL Server Management. Let me connect to it. Okay. So when you open the SQL Server Management Studio, that's what you're going to be seeing. You're going to see here this connection, which has those databases. Some databases are actually default databases. For example, master model, MSDB, tempdb. You can actually create databases inside of those databases or create tables inside of the databases. Uh, in some cases, they're advised, in others, they're not. Uh, it's, it's good to know that in the tempdb, this name is actually has a purpose. If you create an object right here in tempdb, uh, that is not for testing, you're probably going to be in trouble because the object is going to be deleted whenever you close Management Studio. So, 
if we want to create in the other in the other databases that's fine we should first of all though see what is what we want it uh, for example the model one if you want to create templates and configure those to be to be used in another database uh, that's where you want to go uh, master it's it's more like an administrate administrative database I would say um, we can avoid though to use those and that's what I have here I created another another database here school system for that project but right now I want to create another database that we're gonna be using in this project and how I do that if I come here into databases again and click right button and I put here new database uh, it's gonna ask me for a name for it uh, since I already have a school system I'm just gonna call this one I'm just gonna call this one the school since I'm gonna be doing the same thing so let me do it here okay now what happened is I have another database that I created here whenever I go to Visual Studio I'm gonna have to find a way of connecting to this database and we're gonna see how we do that whenever we get there so right now I don't have anything here in this database so if I go to tables it's not gonna show anything uh, or views um, oh the, the views actually is, uh, it shows uh, whatever you have for the database schemas that you need it um, for the database diagram where I'm gonna create a diagram later uh, if I try to do something right now, I won't be able to, right? Unless I, I, I create them as a saying. I'm going to say no right now. Um, and the other things here, it's not really important for us at this point. Uh, we may talk about them sometime in the future. But right now, let's just talk about the tables and what we want to create. So as we said before, we want to have a student we must have a student in the school we also must have classes we must have a way of getting those students connected to the, those classes and I'm gonna call that registration uh, there are many other things that we have in the school as grades as the status of the class uh, employees at this point let's just stick with the basics Let's just stick with the basics and the tables that I want to create here will be students, um, classes, and registration. So how do we create that? If we right click here right on tables and do a new table, it's going to open that window for me. So here is where I'm going to start putting the name for the columns. Uh, right now, let me first get a name for that table. So as we see here on the right part, on the property window uh, I have table one that's how it is named of course you don't want that name for it so let me just name it a student I'm gonna create first of all the student object or the student table so there you go but a student so now I can start creating uh, the fields so a student will have a student ID a student ID which is gonna be an int here saying allow nodes. This one is going to be a primary key, and primary key nodes are not allowable. But I don't really need to do anything here right now. If I just come here and do a set primary key, there we go. It set it and it was taking that automatically. If I actually try to do now to put allow nodes, it's just going to give me the error say, okay, that's a primary key, you can do that. Um, another thing that a student has is first name. So let's put here first name. Uh, oh, let me get here as a var char. Var char. Uh, last name. Varchar Okay, so that's how we're gonna be creating that and all of those other guys